Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show a demo on how to execute SSH package from SQL Server by MS Studio. So here I will show this demo in three steps. First time creating one package and deploying the package and test the package. Creating the package and execute the package. Execute the package. Later I deploy the package into SQL Server by MS Studio. From then, I am executing the package one more time, the same package. First, I am showing my package here. This is simple ETL package. The name also is simple ETL dot ETSX from source to destination table. So, if you want to check the table and data, this is my data sample2 dot CSV. Here I have 971 records. I want to load this table, data into this table, person table. Right now, I don't have any data. So, all these 971 records are dumped into this table first. I'm executing the package. See, 971 records. Check the table. So, all 971 records are loaded. That means, first step has completed. Second, I'm deploying the package. Deploying the package. So, I need to tell, if you want to deploy your package, SIS package, by default it will store it in the SISD. See here, integration services catalogs, under that SISDB is there, under that there are different projects. So, right now I have only one package and to deploy there. So, now I am deploying the package. Right click and deploy package. Go to next. Next, you need to provide your admin name, just commit to browse. So, here as I shown earlier, package underscore deploy is there. I am creating one more folder that is SSIS underscore package. Click OK. New project here, ETL. Just a new ETL. Now, this package is deployed under ETL. Okay. Click OK. Next, deploy. So, deploying packages passed successfully. See here. So, loading packages, connecting to destination server, that is my uh, SQL Server Management Studio, changing the package production level, and deploying the packages. So, changing the package production level means if you want to Create any password. Uh, by default, you can take Windows authentication. If you want to take any uh, password and you, like that, you have to provide this step. Okay. So close here. Now check your SQL Server Management Studio. Expand this one. Right click the SSH DB. Refresh here. See here, SSH package we have created under SSH project package under projects your package is there says simple etl dot dts simple etl dot dts so now deploying also completed so first two, two, two steps are completed now we need to work on executing a sales package from SSNS. we already executed the package we ran the package from visual studio and we have 971 records as I shown earlier in the CSC file. Now, the same scenario, I am executing this package from SQL Server Management Studio. Right click and just execute. The records will be doubled once after executing. So, click OK. The operation ID has started. For information about the package execution, would you like to work on Google Go report now? Yes, I want to work on. I want to see. It is retrieving the data. See. Status of the package is succeeded. That is, package getting success. So, if you have any error, package is failed, you got the, you got the color, red color. Here, we, we have seen green color, that is succeeded. So, if you want to check the number of records, all these things, 
We need to go the SP forward management queue one more time. So this is the status, this is the data flow task, uh, all these things. See, this is the sample CSP data, total number of reports, all these things which is shown here. You want to uh, recheck. Right now we have only 971 reports, right? 971. Now I am trying to rerun the query. 1942, just the word. First, by uh, executing the package from here, and the second 971 are getting by executing the package from executable management. Just by right click and execute. If I execute one more time, it will add 971 more records to the table. This is how you need to execute your SS package from executable management. So, sometimes in real time scenarios, when you don't have any visual studio permissions and all these things, you need to execute your SSH package from SQ server management. At that time, you need to do this scenario. Just right click your package and execute and check your table and validate your data. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.